Hopefully, I'm just trying to take it one match at a time. Today was a good performance for sure against a tough player. Um, next guy is tough as nails, so I'm going to have to play my best. You look a lot like Sampras yeah. out there. Yeah, so that, I've heard that. Uh, and that's, that, that was a, uh, a, a conscious thing. You modeled your game. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really have, you know, a whole lot of coaching when I was younger, when I was in the very early stages of my tennis. So a lot of my, you know, learning to play the game was watching a video and copying somebody I liked, and that was pretty much how that came about. You know, it was not until I was, you know, mid-teenagers that I, mid-teenage years that I had, you know, some coaching. And by that time, you're kind of already setting your ways a little bit. Um, Love the way he played the game. Love the way he, you know, acted his demeanor, everything about it, and so that was kind of what I went with. Yeah. Is singles something that you're, I don't know, concentrating on or uh, trying to get that ranking up? Or what's... Uh, I mean, I don't think it's ever been where I've only concentrated on doubles. You know, yeah. doubles is, I like it. Maybe it comes pretty naturally to me, and I've done, I've had some decent results. But yeah, singles has always been, you know, the priority and continues to be that way. It was a little bit touch and go maybe at the beginning of this year and last year with the schedule, but uh, kind of made a commitment to myself in the beginning of the summer that, you know, I'm going to schedule around my singles and really give it, I felt like I was playing better and it improved and could really hopefully make a, a good run at it. And uh, so I was going to schedule around my, you know, my singles and, and obviously play doubles, you know, but not, you know, uh, have the schedule be based around my singles.